Yo, hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and yes, indeed, we're getting a new strategy game, this time for Terminator? Yeah, today we're going to take a look at the first footage from the Battle of Oklahoma City, released by Slytherin. This upcoming game is known as Terminator Dark Fate Defiance. Now, this actually will allow us to play as the Legion and also the humans in the future after the, uh, you know, the bombs or whatever, the, the attacks, whatever you want to call it, I guess, the Judgment Day, yeah, that's it. Sweet. Sweet look at the robots there. But hey, this game seems to play like World in Conflict with a little bit of sprinkling of uh, call to arms. But this is a delight, man. Uh, I have not seen an image of a city like this in a long time in terms of it kind of being in this close range uh, battlefield with vehicles zipping about. And you'll also see some helicopters inserting some troops onto buildings too. And so this makes me really hope now we get a game that's similar to World in Conflict, but with the Terminator franchise. Now, this isn't going to be made by Sierra or whomever uh, was responsible for the release of World in Conflict. Those days, I think, unfortunately, are never going to come again. But uh, it is nice to see that this game seems to be a little bit like uh, a mod, almost, it looks like, for Men of War Assault Squad or Call to Arms of a futuristic battle. Uh, but it also seems to play like World in Conflict. So that really is appealing to me. And we'll take a look now at the trailer uninterrupted. We'll talk a little bit more about my hopes and expectations for the game. Yep, looks badass, and I hope it fully releases in 2022 with none of that uh, early access stuff that we've been seeing a lot of, because this looks pretty polished so far, and I'd be interested to see where the battles go to outside of the major cities. Now, World in Conflict is a type of game that had a big overarching campaign that was just as good as the multiplayer was, so I really hope there is a confirmed uh, multiplayer, or rather a single player campaign. The multiplayer I hope is great, but the single player campaign I hope it has a lot of uh, cutscenes and voice acting and really good stuff to bring you into the world and make you care about the characters rather than just trying to win battles and take objectives. Another thing that's been confirmed too is that uh, the game will have you, again, allow you to play as the Legion, though I don't know if it'll be uh, giving you a campaign for them. So I hope we get a campaign for all the factions involved and I also hope that uh, when the game is released that it, it is like a fully released game so that way we can play it all at once and take into account of how fun it'll be. It's cool to see all the other uh, military factions and equipment and uh, different types of uh, futuristic weapons and also kind of more makeshift stuff. I've seen everything from like uh, trucks with machine guns on the back of them to actually uh, tanks and more modern looking stuff too. And uh, there's no base building in this game, from what I understand, so it makes me uh, kind of hesitant, though I think to myself, wait a minute, World in Conflict didn't have base building either, and it was really cool to be able to call in units that were paradropped in the battle, though that probably wouldn't be capable here, or possible here, maybe for the Legion as they're constantly creating troops and uh, units and bringing them out to the battle via, like, uh, you know, VTOL ships and, and, and airdrops, maybe, and the humans might have to fight more dirty and uh, maybe use equipment and traps and ambushes and, and explosives. That'll make them a little bit more uh, an interesting faction to play, though they should be the ones on the, uh, you know, on the... On the 
uh, the underdogs. So it'll be interesting to see. Now, Slytherin showed a lot more good footage of a single-player campaign that kind of more slowly shows the, um, the gameplay, though there's not voice acting for the units, and there's not any sort of uh, really fully functioning UI just yet. But it looks like they put time and effort into the things that mattered, which was the damn gameplay. UI and things like that and voice acting can be something that can come along later, but, you know, the best UI and the best voice acting in the world uh, doesn't really necessarily save a game, does it? And uh, this one actually is going to be quite good. It's nice to see the Slytherin uh, people getting into games that are more franchises, like, for example, Stargate and Starship Troopers, and now Terminator. And it's cool to see those as strategy games because, actually, uh, this game and also Starship Troopers are fantastic examples of games that mostly have been untouched for building a military. There's also a Dune game coming soon, not from this uh, development team, but it will be cool to actually see uh, more and more strategy games based on franchises of books and television shows and uh, movies, and I really hope that this one is stellar, and I hope it's got your excitement too. Keep an eye on it, add it to your wish list on Steam, and kind of monitor it to make sure that there's some uh, when there are some massive developments that we get to take a look at those, and you could be the first to see those either by subscribing to the channel or checking it out on Steam. Really, I'm going to be following this one of all the different games coming from Slytherin. I think the ones to keep an eye on, by the way, and you may have seen this on the channel, Channel are Broken Arrow and also Modern Naval Warfare, the Terminator game here, and Starship Troopers, though the Modern Naval Warfare one I mentioned is kind of more of a simulator. It is still good to see these uh, more military games based in modern times or even science fiction in the example of Starship Troopers. But anyway, can't get enough of this footage. There is more footage on the channel of this, by the way, from the developers during the Slytherin conference, so check that out on the channel under the live stream tab. You should be able to find that. It's a damn good live stream. I recommend you watch that and you keep an eye here on the channel for more. I'm Raptor. I'll see you soon. Thanks for subbing and take care until next time. Bye.